Howdy folks, this is Brian of Spooky Days. Who remembers Mad Balls? Does anybody remember Mad Ball? Depends on how old you really are. Today we have the horror collection of these uh, Mad Balls. So we have Chucky, a Xenomorph, Pennywise, and you see the rest. They were old school back in the late 80s, early 90s. And then uh, I used to collect them, but they didn't have the horror edition. They were just like creepy balls with, uh, you know, like, uh, I guess, Garbage Pail Kid faces and they're kind of squishy and they're fun. There's a lot of uh, retro things coming back. They had the creepy crawlers, and then they had the boglins, and the mad balls, and a lot of a lot of retro stuff. Chucky looks pretty cool, but kind of a little nerdy, but he looks cool nonetheless. And then he's got uh, little scars and stitches, and Leatherface has got this, uh, I'll show that in a minute right here. Like a, a gash in the back of his head. It looks like that's an ax, maybe, or a hammer in the, in the back of his head. And one thing I don't like about that is the green. Um, it should be red because, you know, he's not an alien or nothing. But uh, he looks really cool. He's got the cute little face, I guess you could say. It's very detailed. Got a little bug or a beetle or something right up there. I don't get that one, but it's cool nonetheless just for collecting, you know, these, these particular items. But my favorite one is this guy. This Pennywise came out really good. Let's get up close. Not too many flaws that I could find in this particular one. The teeth are really good. Other than the casting, the molding, the little lips right here, but that's not that big of a deal to me. Um, but the Pennywise is just amazing detail. Look at that. All the way to the hair, nice fine lines. And then what I like about it is on the bottom, you have the little balloon and everything like that. I think these are like, they, they range from 10 to 20 bucks. I think he was about $19. And it's just squishy foam. Um, Texture is a little bit different in each one of them. Uh, like Pinhead, for example, he's really squishy. But the original Mad Balls were like, like the Splat Balls. They're really, really funny looking. Um, but Pinhead's kind of cool. But the, the green, the green I'm not buying. You no, know, Pinhead didn't have no green in them like that. Uh, and then you got these little colors that look like... I don't even know why they colored them like that, but hey, that's what they did. Looks like I just, I guess maybe some humor, uh, like like hair beads or something. Um, and then you got like a tic-tac-toe sign in there. Uh, let's see what else. He's got a tongue ring. <laughs> you know, so they're kind of making them funny in a way, humorous. Um, and that's what Mad Ball is. It's kind of like that, that toxic green goo type thing. So I'm, I'm assuming that's really what they're going with in regards to that. Uh, we'll get an up close look at Chucky. The hair detail is really good. They they actually kind of uh, looks like they streaked it a little bit and put some brown in there and highlights. Uh, a little gash in the back of the head right there. And then that's what's really neat too. It says Play Pal Toys. I like that. That's, that's pretty cool. A little bit off on the printing right there. Well, not, you know, right there, but not that big of a deal. Because um, like I said, they're just little fun collector novelties that you're just going to kind of hang out with, you put them on your shelf and have them for house decoration. Those two are so cool though. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's just always gonna flop back in. Now my other favorite is this Predator. The Predator came out really good. It's nice detail right there in the eyes. Then you got obviously the guts, the toxic guts, cause you know Predators like that. But then they put the nice detail in the hair like that too. With a little skull in the back like this. That's pretty wicked, I think. I'm impressed with this one. He's like, oh, I'm gonna eat them all. <laughs> He's so funny, man. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the Xenomorph. Look at the detail in the Xenomorph. This thing's really cool. I mean, you got fine details inside there. So, definitely worth collecting. And if you're a collector or horror collector or Halloween collector, these would be totally fun just to put somewhere on your shelf, somewhere it looks like it has scars and, and cuts into it. And you got obviously the acid guts and goo, so this is really fitting for him. So, pretty neat. But yeah, I'm excited for the new Leatherface coming out on Netflix in January. Man, it's gonna be pretty good, man. I think they keep making them and I keep watching them. But yeah, the least of my favorite is the Pinhead. He's kinda a little 
mad balled out too much i think the x's and o's tic-tac-toes which is kind of cool but the little color little things like like the little things that they put in the hair i think if they would have just made that all red that would have been kind of neat and maybe took out the the green in his eye the green in the mouth not too bad but the green in the eye i'm not really digging but and if they come up with more i'll be more than glad to get a few of those so you could take a look at them but i'll put the product link down below i got them all off of amazon so if you dig you dig if you don't you don't that's cool all right all right until next time stay spooky my friends Rah.